guys, this is Sincerely Osa. You're watching Press Play. This is One on One with Tanya Lacey. Hey. Doing. I'm good. I'm I, good. Lo I love the hair thing. I've been watching your movements, you know. Yeah. I've been watching the makeup <laughs> movements. I've been watching the hair. It was the undercut. It was like really short. When was? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking yeah. recently. Yeah. And then it's wavy, and then you oh, got yeah. the ombre thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking that girl. Thank she knows you. how to get it done. Um, so obviously we're here because you've got your show here, yeah. and um, you're releasing your song, which isn't actually out yet. No, I was, I was just yet. like. What's the long wait? I know, we, it's, it's so frustrating, the whole waiting process. Mm -hmm. But um, it's already on radio, which is great. Yeah. And it'll be out on the 26th of May, yeah. so not too long to wait, hopefully. The video's out, though. The video is out. I was watching that again today. Yeah. And, um, there's a lot of, you know, let's talk. Let's talk. Because there's a lot of, you know, we Africans call it African juju. <laughs> African stuff. You know, juju. It's, it's, it's a really good video. And then there's like a doll, and then there's sticks, and then there's people coughing up blood. And, yeah. you know. Um, so. How, it's how very different from Too Many Cooks. Very, like, yeah, very not as fun, yeah. but it's fun, but kind of a, a scarier it's side. Scarier, like yeah. she, she goes in, she goes and gets revenge. It's CPMO. It, like, that's <laughs> what I'm Standard. It's, it's over. <laughs> So, um, how did the making of that song come about? Um, that was a song, um, the actual chorus came about first and mm -hmm. I wrote it with James Reynolds um, and um, it was basically, I was going through a bit of a, a weird time at, at, that, at that time, so when I, when I cut the vocals, I really felt the vocals and we kind of sat on the track for a while mm -hmm. and then Leisha came in and put a verse down and it was kind of going back and forth and then we finally got the structure right and it just felt like that was the right song to go with next. Yeah. You know, it's completely different from the other vibes I've been doing, but it's more of a, a mature and kind of darker vibe to it. Mm. Because um, I wanted to show that side of my artistry as well. Yeah. Definitely. Well, um, obviously, because we're so used to what you came out with is um, first of all, well, not first of all, because you've been doing stuff for ages, but um, um, Letter to My Ex, which oh, was like yeah, your yeah. first major, oh my gosh, it's Daniel AC came on the scene. So. Um, how, how have you progressed from, you know, Letter to My Ex to, to now? Um, I've learned so much because I've had the opportunity to work with so many amazing writers and producers. Um, people like Chuck Harmony, Claude Kelly, Greg Wells, like so many amazing writers. And you can't help but learn from these people without even realizing it. You subconsciously pick up tricks and, yeah. and, and you work on your melodies and your lyrics. And I still feel like I'm in a very um, big development time in my career where I'm I'm looking at things differently and I want to I want to say more things you know there's more things that are affecting my life that I want to talk about and what I, what I see happening around me so yeah I think um, it's been a natural progression from yeah. letter to my ex to hit to where I am now and I can't wait to see where else I can take, take it. it definitely so um obviously we know that you're big on your style as I was saying girl the girl got her oh, hair on check you. she got her makeup on check Shout out to my stylist. oh hey girl Oh, oh, we better get that sorted on Twitter, everyone. <laughs> Follow that. Um, at Soki Mac. Yeah, so um, I know that I, you know, I tried to be colourful today because I know you're you like a big. Colorful, no, like, I could, like I could be more pinker and, and stuff. I, I did the pink on my under. I know I could yeah. see that. I like that. I knew she would clock that. that. Works, she plays attention and I like to the, detail. The gold as well. Thank I think you. I have the same like pop. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so, how does your style kind of? Um, how do you fit that into you know being Tanya Lacey? How does it fit into your personality? Where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, I I love to t take risks with everything in my life, mm. whether it's music or relationships. We will talk about. I know your life story. <laughs> I, I I know everything. <laughs> oh God. But you know, I, I take risks yeah, because I, I think what, what what have you got to lose, really? If you know, if you never take a risk you never really know your full potential and mm. when it comes to styling I mean I've, I've been working with my stylist now for a, a couple of years and during that time we've been able to to hang out and bond and she knows me and she knows my body shape and she knows what makes me tick and so when she's out and she sees things she knows what to get for me yeah. and um, and I really love that about our relationship and that's what I try and do with my whole team like I like to have a tight team so we all know what we're doing and they all know what I'm about and 
it just makes the whole process so much more effortless. Yeah, definitely. Well, great. Well, um, thank you so much for being on thank the show. Thank you. I wish you the very best. Um, everyone, that, that new single is out May 26th. May 26th, May 26th. now that you're gone. Check Go and get out. it. Spread the word. Woohoo! So, um, thank you everyone for watching and thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Peace out. Later. Bye.